Here are two amazing LEGO The Pirates of the Caribbean sets. You got the Black Pearl right here and then Queen Anne's Revenge. They were both released in 2011 and today I'll do a comparison between the two of them. So if we start with the Black Pearl, what I really like about this set are the minifigures. I think they're superior to the one in Queen Anne's Revenge. The reason is that you get exclusive minifigures like Davy Jones that are worth a lot, but they're actually really nice, very detailed. I actually made a video reviewing the Black Pearl, so make sure to click that link if you're interested, where I like really show all the minifigures in detail. But nonetheless, I really like the minifigures. This one has really good ones as well. It has like, some exclusive minifigures, like you got Angelica, but it's still not, they're not as good as the ones in the Black Pearl. Now, the second thing I've noticed are the sales of the ships. So I prefer the one in Queen Anne's Revenge because you get these like swords and designs in the in the ship on the sails and they're like a red velvet which I, I like the color whereas in the, the black room they're just simply black and there's not any details there's nothing it's just pure black and it looks good because you know black on black is always nice and um, it just it's still a great ship if you check the back you can see as well. So it's just, it's just a, a really good ship in general still, just because it looks good, it has a good look to it. But I think that the details in the Queen Anne's Revenge are just superior to the ones in the Black Pearl. That's why for the sales, it's a Queen Anne's Revenge that wins in that category. Also, if you check out the back, I really like those skeletons head, and I think it's just well designed. You also get those lights. Um, on the ship, and they're, they look like uh, some windows, but they're they're really nice compared to the one on the Black Pearl. You can see right here, there's a few windows. They just don't look as good as the one in Queen Anne's Revenge. And for the flags, I think they both look good. I'll just show you. So you get the red one with a dead skeleton skull, and this one as well has one. So I think they're both good. Once again, though, the Queen Anne's Revenge is just more detail. Now, I also wanted to mention the Queen Anne's Revenge has 1,097 pieces and the Black Pearl only has 804. So that's another advantage for the Queen Anne's Revenge. More pieces, so more fun, more details. Uh, so I think for the looks, Queen Anne's Revenge is better. When it comes to the posters, they're pretty similar. They're both really good. So I'd, I'd give a point to each in, in that category. It's not like one has a better poster than the other. They're pretty similar. It's just pretty much the ship with a few details. Perhaps the Black Pearl is slightly better just because there's like fire and there's more action, but they're very comparable. So in that category, they're both pretty much the same. Now for the price, the Black Pearl is much more expensive. I believe it's at least 200 or $300 US more. It's about a thousand, a thousand, over a thousand US and this one is over 800 US. So it's at least a $200 US to $300 US difference. So that's another bonus for the Queen Anne's Revenge, but that's really because of the popularity. The Black Pearl, once again, has better me figures. It's just like, I guess it's a classic. It's from The Curse of the Black Pearl, which is, in my opinion, the best Pirates of the Caribbean movie compared to the Queen Anne's Revenge that's on Stranger Tide. So I think it's just the popularity. That's why um, the, the Black Pearl is more high on demand. They're both very rare, but the supply and demand, right, once again. So. Black Pearl is just more on demand, so that's why the price is more expensive. Now for the play features as well, I wanted to make the two point that, that if you check at the back, Queen Anne's Revenge has actually a crazy nice, like crazy good looking cannon that fires, rotate, everything. And the Black Pearl doesn't have any of that. Like, it, I mean, it has cannons right here, but they're kind of hidden for, the, the box art, I like that they show the cannons right here. I think it's pretty sick. But yeah, no, to me, it looks like this one has cannons as well. It's just, they're not showing it at the back. So that's, I think, slightly unfortunate. The front of the ships, they both look pretty much like the same. It's pretty much the same art. Um, but maybe it's because of the colors also. Like I like that red belt in. This one's more like black, but they're both good, so. The bo when it comes to box art, I'd say they're pretty much like the same. There's nothing like too special about them. They really, they really look similar. 
Anyways, overall, I wouldn't say there's one that's better than the other. Like, there's not one I prefer more than the other. It really, I think, comes down to the ship itself. Like, which ship, which movie you prefer. And especially the minifigures. I think, like, if you're buying the ships for the minifigures and for the movie, those are probably your, like, best criterias. Um, because you won't buy this set if you don't want these me figures or you don't care as much as the, about the me figures as this one, right? It really comes down, I think, to the me figures. So personally, even though like Queen Anne's Revenge has a bunch of like nicer things and scores higher in the criteria than the Black Girl, I still prefer the Black Girl because of the me figures. And I like the darker look of the ship, but this one, once again, they're really good. So I can't really say like which one's the best. It's, it really comes down to preference and which movie you prefer, which me figures you prefer. Anyways, I hope you found this comparison interesting and it helped you like decide which set you prefer, which one costs less, and maybe you've decided on which one you'd prefer getting. So if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.